Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a Paula Young wig by the name of Devon. This is what she looks like, and I have her in the color gingerbread, so stay tuned. everyone welcome back my name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're looking at a young lady by the name of Devon from Polly Young and this is her. She is in a new color called Gingerbread and the numbers of that, that particular color is 24 slash 13 number four and this is what she looks like right here. I've got her out of the box and on a mannequin. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? It reminds me a little bit of a darker buttered toast. It's that kind of ashy color. Um, it's gradient. She has a little bit longer root and um, the root color is a number four. So it's a dark brown. And so we're going to take a look at this young lady. Okay. All right. Let's look at her cap construction. It looks like she is a basic cap construction right here. I hope you can see this. This is very dark um, with the dark hair and the dark um, fabric that they're using underneath here. It's going to be a little challenging to see that, but it is a closed lace all the way to the crown. It covers the whole top area. The band in the front is significantly wide. It looks like it's about an inch and a half maybe, yeah, an inch and a half wide across the front hairline for added comfort. And it looks like they've got a row of wefts stitched on the underside of that front band there. So that's gonna make that look really natural. So those hair fibers come out from underneath the cap. That's really nice. Okay, she's got open ear tabs on the right and left with metal stays open so that you can um, wear your glasses through them if that works out for you. It looks like she's got Velcro adjusters on the right and the left and she has a standard half inch nape on the back. So, and then lots of wefts going across the sides and the back all the way around, okay? That's really a pretty, pretty color. Very brunette. And you can see how long the roots are on the bottom side here too. So she would be considered a long rooted color, which is very fashionable these days. It kind of um, crosses that line between the balayage and the, the highlights and the low lights. But even on top, you can see some of the highlights are taken in a little bit cl uh, close to the roots. But Anyway, that's the new gingerbread color from Polly Young. I don't know if the, that color is offered in any other um, wigs, but we'll just have to wait and find out, huh? All right, well, let's go ahead and try her on and then we'll talk about her dimensions. All righty, what I have on today is another Polly Young wig. Her name is Dallas in the color Silvery Moon. And of course, I'm wearing my favorite accessory, my square band in a size one called Julia. Use my promo code of COCO and you'll get 20% off and tell her I said hi. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and try on Devin. Okay, here she is up at the hairline. And look at that hairline. That looks so nice with those that row of, um, of hair curtains coming out from underneath. She is a low density young lady. And I have to say these fibers feel really nice. The cap fits well. It's a good average size. So, and even has a little bit of extra room. So let me go ahead and do a, a spin for you, all righty? Just right out of the box. And oh, here's the color, her numbers. So if you want to take a look at that a little closer so that you know which colors to order and what color gingerbread is. But look at this perfect length. It's just right at that shoulders length. Very casual, soft body. Let's go ahead and turn around. Yeah, she's very nice. Feels very comfortable on. 
very casual, easygoing. Now, of course, we know with this um, kind of uh, basic cap construction, we could part her anywhere we want. And so if you want to pull something a little off to the side, we're going to, um, because she was not packaged that way, she was probably meant to be parted down the middle, like it shows in the picture here. And, um, but you can get these fibers to lay down if you want by just using a little bit of heat from your hair dryer, just for about five seconds, run it along that part and, and hold it down a little bit more. But, oh my goodness, look at this young girl. She's very cute. Very casual, easygoing. I really like that hairline. For That's about as close as you're gonna get me to not having a lace front, and it's gonna look okay. Not bad, is it? Okay, well, we parted her on the uh, left a little bit. Let's part her on the right. See how that one goes, so we can take that over there. And then we'll talk about her dimensions. So we've got the same thing over here on the right-hand side if I wanted to part it this way. And these long bangs are staying pretty much out of my face. This is a really cute little find. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm tempted to keep this young lady. Well, let's take a look at her dimensions real quick and we'll, we'll uh, determine what they are here. Okay, she comes in an average size only. She's 3.2 ounces and that's Kanekalon open ear tabs, of course, and they did have fibers stitched on the underside of those as well. So that, that adds to the realism. And let's take a look at that coverage. If you'll take a look at what I've got, it covers me pretty well, pretty well on both sides. I'm really, really happy about that. It feels like I've got more coverage with this young lady. Okay, the uh, front is nine inches. The top and crown are 12 inches. The sides are 10. The upper back is 11. And we have a seven inch nape. She comes in 22 colors, as well as this exclusive color itself. So, um, oh my gosh, she looks a little bit like the color I found in Juliet. Do you remember Polly Young's Juliet? That was a long time ago, wasn't it? She had been discontinued, um, but the color is, is very similar. But this is a cutie pie, isn't she? Whether you want to uh, part her on one side or the other, or just maybe not even part her at all, that looks really nice. It does. So what can we do with this young lady, huh? Let's try a couple of different styles with some headbands, okay? Well, of course, we can put on my square band that I had on earlier and just slip that on top. That adds a measure of security on holding your wigs in place, but that just adds a little bit of extra bling. That's really cute, isn't it? Easy peasy. And if you wanted to try a little bit of a clip to pull some of the sides back, I would recommend leaving a little trail of, of uh, little wispies coming down the sides to disguise the side area. And also enough of the bang to create a shelf or, or some kind of a shadow right along that hairline so that you wouldn't see the edge of the cap that obviously, or open it for scrutiny. <laughs> some of those people who like to look a little closer. <laughs> and of course you could do the same thing with all the way back. But here again, you're going to want to make sure that you can't see any of the wefts because she is a lower density. And here I put the, the clip a little bit lower so that it has a chance to cover more of the wefts. So that's a cute look, isn't it? And of course, you can put her down in a low pony as well. There's some really nice suggestive kinds of looks you can do with her. And even if you wanted to take this and put it up. Now, 
make it a little bit of a messy bun back there. There's a lot of things we can do with a little bit longer hair, isn't there? But oh, she's so cute just by herself, isn't she? So let's take this young lady outside and see what she looks like in daylight, all right? Okay, here she is outdoors. We've got this beautiful ashy brown with ash blonde highlights. Look at the beautiful highlights on the tips. And then the longer root on the top. Let's see what she looks like in the front. Yeah, a little more. Ooh, nice little wind. Look at the sunlight on the tips of her hair over here. So you can see there, there is a little bit of warmth, but not a lot. She comes off more of a cooler, cooler um, blonde brown but she does have a little bit of warmth to her. So maybe she's one of these girls who can go both ways, huh? Yep, she's a really pretty color and this is called gingerbread. Alrighty, let's go back inside. Well, this is Devin from Paula Young. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a great week and I will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.